Welcome to SHOT Show TV, I'm David Lombardo and we're here with uh, Cy Hudson of uh, Hudson Manufacturing and you have a brand new firearm out on the market. Why don't you tell us a little bit about this? Uh, David, we're really excited to be here on SHOT Show TV. Uh, we have our flagship model, the Hudson H9 that we are introducing here at SHOT this year. We've been working on it for three and a half years, we've been doing R&D. We actually have the first prototype down in the booth, booth number 1118. If uh, people want to come down and see it, it was not ready for market. We're really glad we went past that. Um, but yeah, it's really, really exciting to, to share this with people finally. This is going to be a comfortable match for people who've been shooting striker fire, that double action trigger. It, it, it might talk a little bit about that. Absolutely. So it is a forged steel, all steel construction with the, while it is a steel construction on the grip, it, that will not be for, uh, that will not be stainless. Everything else is stainless steel. It is striker fired with a 1911 style straight trigger pull. So what we mean by that is all the rotation has been isolated in the sear itself and this trigger pull straight back. It does have an integral trigger safety because a lot of guys, whether the competition or law enforcement have gotten really comfortable with that over the years, whether it's run a gun and dump or if they want to make sure that they're not snagging on anything as they're drawing from a holster. Uh, but it's really exciting. The other uh, features we have on it, it's got an ambidextrous uh, slide release and reversible magazine release. And 15 plus one, nine millimeter. A lot of people picking up thinking it's a single stack gun. So we're really proud of that width we've got going on. Well, and, and I think the comfortable thing about that is for guys who don't shoot a lot, is you have that sort of play in the trigger and yet it's a very crisp pull once you get to the end. Yeah, we actually have a lot of guys who are actually treating it like a two-stage trigger when they're out there. They're going and taking that take up on that trigger safety and then using it as a single stage after that and they're just hitting that pressure wall and just hitting it. It almost sounds rapid fire whenever you're going through a 15-round sure. magazine. It's awesome. And the profile is rather unique also. So a lot of people are wondering why it looks the way it does. What we did is we slapped a full-size slide right on top of the trigger guard. And right on top of the trigger guard means that we couldn't use a Browning linked or linkless cam system. So our front cam system is sitting on our locking lug right here in this big beefy area that we wanted to maintain structural integrity in. And that moved our recoil spring down. And it's just a recoil spring, not a fission device, not anything crazy, uh, it's not a lighter laser. Um, but that's what's sitting and that's what gives it its unique profile. You've also managed to bring together a whole group of very interesting companies to help support the project. Uh, that's, that's actually been exciting for us. As a startup company, we have a Trigicon HD front sight. Trigicon is supporting us. H&M Black Nitriding on our steel parts. BZ G10 grits and Hogue G10 lower back strap. We're really excited that they're being able to support a small company and they're not, you know, not just catering to the big guys. Actually, that would make a decent duty carry as well as a concealed carry gun. Well, I love you saying that. A lot of people from pictures think it's really tall and really big because of the profile. It's actually decently compact. It's only 0.2 inches taller than a Glock 19. It's actually smaller than a 17. We have a true one inch side to side slide and it's actually smaller than a 17 there as well. And I know you carry a 17. Yep, I, so, do. I do. Uh, but for the weight, 34 ounces for a steel, uh, steel frame gun, a SIG 229, SIG 226 is 34 ounces with aluminum frame, so we're actually proud that we got it down to 34 ounces. Yeah, no, that's very weight, that's very weight friendly. And so, of course, the big question everybody always asks, what's the price point? MSRP is going to be 1147 and I know people are like, well, why isn't $600? We couldn't make any money or put any R&D to afford future models for that if we sold it at that price. With the steel construction, with the premium feature set, I mean, that's a $71 retail front side, $79 retail grips. We have a lot going on in this gun, so we're actually going for a value price at that point. So, Cy, I want to buy one. How do I find you? Uh, RSR has already picked us up. AgriSport has come down and started that conversation. Two-step distribution. We're supporting NASGW, NSSF, and well, NRA Lifetime members, all the guys who made all this stuff possible. And an ex-Army guy. Uh, afraid so. What more can you ask for? Cy Hudson with uh, Hudson Manufacturing. And for SHOT Show TV, I'm David Lombardo.